Hey YouTube family, this is Jamal. I'm back again with a part two of my story, uh, sleep paralysis. So, huh, I left off talking about the hair situation where the hair was just coming at me, you know what I'm saying? Like, which is just coming down real slow and scary. And I'm just stuck, can't move, just wanna shake. You know, I'm shaking a little bit more now than I was in the actual sleep paralysis, but just, just wanna get out of it and you can't. So, stuck in it there's nothing you can do there's nothing you can say You're pretty much hopeless you know you can you can kind of make humming noises but you really can't talk you can't wiggle your big toe you know <laughs> kill bill reference you can't um with your fingertips oh some, i heard some people can i never actually tried but i might try that next time if i ever get into it hopefully i never have to experience this no more but yeah, so I'm just stuck, you know, can't move, can't do nothing, can't say nothing. And this piece of hair is just hair. It was like a lot of hair just, just started coming down in front of my face. Like something like the grudge, it was it was dark black. And um, I'm just trying my best to get out of it. And then I like out of nowhere, out of nowhere, my body just start like twisting, twisting and twisting and twisting like in the bed. I got lifted up and it started you know, like, kind of getting twisted. Well... Actually, no, my head was kind of falling back. I was getting lifted up. But that was mostly in a spirit form because my body actually wasn't doing anything. It was just, I guess, my spirit getting lifted up. And it felt like it was getting twisted around. But I, honestly, I think it was just getting, like, lifted and just being, like, shaken. Shaken by, like, whatever this entity was. And um, so I'm just laying there, like, I got to get out of this. And eventually, I broke free from it. So... My question to you all today is, have you ever had sleep paralysis? What's your story? Uh, comment down below your story with sleep paralysis. If you ever had it, your experience with it, how to avoid it, how to get out of it once you get it. Um, prayer usually works to get out of it during it. Well, when you're inside of it, to get out of it, prayer works. Um, any advice on how to not have it ever again? <laughs> Because for me, my triggers for when I have it usually be because I go to sleep mad, sad, or just depressed about a situation. If I'm mad at my wife or whatever, I go to sleep upset. That's generally when I have my sleep paralysis. Let me tell you, it's not a fun experience at all. At all. At all. For those who have it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, um... My best advice for those who do have it or know someone that has it, please share this video too, is tell them not to go to sleep upset, angry, depressed, or anything like that with like a lot of stuff, stress on their mind. For my personal condition, because scientifically they say that it's because you go to sleep and it's your body um, trying to rest because your mind is still wandering and your body rests so you won't hurt yourself when you're trying to sleep. I mean, shit, I, go, I work out before I go to bed. Sometimes my body is super exhausted. It, it has nothing to do with that. For me personally, it's more so of an emotion that I have. And with that anger or whatever emotions I have, I tend to uh, attract a certain type of entity. Well, I believe in spirits. You know, I feel like I attract something to my bedroom for anger or whatever type of issues I'm dealing with. Also, I recommend, too, if you're practicing witchcraft, whether it be black magic, white magic, all the magic to me, just don't do, don't, don't be doing that. I mean, I've never practiced black magic or white magic knowingly. I mean, sometimes we all do like occult stuff without even knowing this occult uh, stuff. And sometimes that can cause triggers too, I believe. I truly believe that can cause triggers because I've heard other situations of people that practice uh, magic and stuff like that and they go to sleep and they're able to quote unquote astral project or whatever. And um, don't do none of that. Don't do any of that stuff. And if you are doing it, especially when you go to sleep, that could be a main reason why that's happening for you. That could be a main reason or some type of anger. Um, yeah, but like I said, if you guys know anything I could do to help other people too, let me know. I can share the video. Also, um, if you know how to like not have it again or other triggers that I may have missed. Oh yeah, occult practice. I mentioned that too, anything dealing with the occult. 
um, anything like that definitely triggers it. Definitely. But all right. Love you all. Have a good day.